What are you doing out here? Hey, um, the judge asked me to wait outside. Why? Well, I was getting kind of crazy in there. My dad was just about to make a statement. By dad, you mean... Ross. And then Todd came running in with your brother, Greg. Greg's here? Yeah, and that's when the judge asked me to leave. But hey, I mean, why should I stay? It's only my life that are siding. I just wish I knew what was going on. Look, the way I see it, you have nothing to worry about. My brother's in there straightening everything out. Dr. Evans, do you know Mrs. Manning's last wishes? Yes, Your Honor. Taya made it perfectly clear to me that she wanted Ross Rayburn to I, raise... No, wait a minute. That's a lie. Yeah, it is. Got roadies. Uh, do you want any... Uh... Wow. Going somewhere special tonight? Actually, I have dinner plans. Well, then what are you still doing here? Take off. Are you sure? Absolutely. And whoever you're going out with tonight, that's one lucky guy. That was always my favorite tie, too. Hi. As I recall, you only pull it out for special occasions, though. Well, I have a dinner date. Yeah? Yeah, so I'll get right to the point. Why have you been avoiding your old man? Earth directs. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Because you were like a million miles. Hold that thought. Hey, Chris, what's up? Hey, Gigi, I need your help. Do you mind coming to class a little early today? I'm on my way. I have to go. I'm afraid my new boss needs me. Well, don't let him work you too hard. This is so amazing, Rex. I feel like for the first time in my life, I am on a winning streak. First, I get into college, and then I get the grant. Of course, yes, I lost the grant, but then the money for Christian to hire me as assistant just drops out of the sky. How lucky is that? I don't exactly call it luck. What does that mean? Uh, it means that luck had nothing to do with it. You earned it. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Hey, she's... Oh, oh, good. You can keep Rex company. Well, Gigi is in a better mood uh, today. Hey, Bo. What's up? Well, I was about to ask you the same thing. Last night, you wanted to tell me something? What is it? Wow, you look fabulous. Let me guess, a date? Um, uh, well, d d dinner. Just dinner. With Clint? Yes, with Clint. He did something really nice for me, so having dinner with him was the least I could do. I've been busy, Dad. Busy? Yes, with work and all the questions about Eli Clark. Anyway, what, what did you want to see me about? You know damn well why I want to see you. Your baby's father. Your Honor, he's lying. What are you doing? What are you doing? Todd. No, 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 wait a minute. This son of a bitch knows that Taya wanted Dana to be with me. Everyone knows that. Mr. No. Manning, sit down and be quiet or I'll remove you from this courtroom. Okay. Would you ask him why he's changed his story? Dr. Evans is your witness, correct? Well, yes, that's correct. But he then was... let's hear what he has to say. Dr. Evans, can you recount for us exactly what the late Mrs. Manning's wishes were regarding her daughter? I believe I already have, Your Honor. Is there any possibility that you were mistaken about her intentions? No. No, there's no mistake. Your mom told Greg she wanted to see you and Todd before she died, right? 
Once Greg says that to the judge, case closed. You think that'll be enough? Yeah. If she was gonna give you to Ross, wouldn't she have wanted you with him? It doesn't make sense. Oh, no, I just want this to be over. I'm so sick of everyone fighting and wondering where I'm gonna be. I wanna know what's gonna happen to me. What do you want to happen to you? Danny, you've been dodging this question from the get-go. Forget the judge, forget everyone else, and just be real for a second. Which father do you want to live with? The night she died, Taya told me in no uncertain terms that she wanted Ross Rayburn to raise Danielle. She said she even put it into her will. If this is true, why didn't you tell Mr. Manning or anyone else before now? Well, I tried. I even went to Mr. Manning to no. break the news no. to him. You told me that Taya wanted to see me before she died. You even tried to tell me that you felt guilty about having not told us when we were there. That was a lie. After seeing how much Todd loved his daughter and the pain that he was going through because of the loss of his wife, I couldn't tell him the truth. So instead, I told him what I felt he needed to hear. Your Honor, if I may. Dr. Evans, if you knew Mrs. Manning stipulated this in her will, why lie about it? You must have known that once the will was in probate, Mr. Rayburn would come for his daughter. Well, to the best of my knowledge, Mr. Rayburn was still a wanted man. I had no idea he was actually going to show up with the will in his hand. But now that he has, I have no choice but to tell the truth. Your Honor, if he's just admitted to lying before, how do we know he's telling the truth now? Uh, what, are you, what are you talking about? John McBain. Who else? Yeah, I, I actually, I figured you were going to want to talk to me about him. Oh, did you? Yes, because Jess keeps reminding me how you told Brody to make an honest woman out of her, so I'm surprised you haven't gone after John with a shotgun. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do if McBain ever hurts you. Dad, don't worry. McBain will never hurt me. Certainly wouldn't be the first time. Tell me something, Natalie. How many times has that man broken your heart? And what makes you think this time is any different? So tell me, what was the really nice something that Clint did for you? Well, it was actually for my son, James. He couldn't afford his tuition, and he almost had to drop out of LU. Oh, but Clint got him a grant so that he could stay in school. Wow, that is nice. <laughs> yes. Especially since my son, James, and I have been estranged. You know, so it means a lot to me to be able to help him in any way. Even if it was Clint that made it happen, because he made it happen, I have another chance with my son. Oh, that's nice. I'm just glad that you and Clint are dating. Doesn't matter how you got together. Well, I mean, we're, we're not really dating. Just, you know, dinner. Yeah, well, you know, I know Clint, and I can tell that he likes you. A lot. I don't know about that. Well, I do. And listen... Now, the fact that Clint helped get your son a grant for his education, I, I'm impressed, but I'm not surprised. Does he usually make a habit of funding college education? Well, no, not that in particular, but um, I need to clear the air with you about something. Um, I know that Bo was telling you about all of Clint's previous exploits. You mean with the shotgun? Yeah, well, when you use that word, it really does kind of sound bad. Listen, I, I think Bo accidentally made Clint out like a cross of Grizzly Adams and Attila Vaughn. And, and the truth is, Clint really is a stand-up guy. Well, now all I have to do is stand here and wait for my cheeseburgers. So you can quit stalling. What is it you wanted to tell me last night? You know, I told you it was nothing. It's not even a problem anymore. Are you sure? Because when Nora and I left here, both you and Gigi were pretty upset. Statesville may have better accommodations than our good friend David is enjoying at the moment, but still, it's not a picnic. Not when you're doing a 10-year sentence, and that's pretty much the standard for trying to steal corporate secrets. I would hate to see Shane without his daddy for all that time. And then there's... Gigi, alone at camp. You 
made your point. Of course, if you don't care about your future or Gigi. Come on. Boston, you know you can talk to me. Is it Gigi? Actually, Gigi's never been better. Okay, boss, I'm here. Great. Look, I gotta talk to the dean about approving a last minute transfer, but the life studies model hasn't gotten here yet. So, can you do me a favor? When he gets here, can you get him started? Sure. Okay, thanks. What do I have to do? Um, don't worry, you'll, you'll figure it out. Hi, is this Professor Vegas' class? Yes, it is. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm Joel, the Life Studies model. Oh, hi, I'm Gigi. Nice to meet you. I'm Professor Vegas' assistant. I'm supposed to help you get started. Great. So, how do you want me? Everything is okay with Gigi. Good. And what about you? You, you in any trouble? Never stop looking at for me, What? Dude. What? Somebody's got to do that. I was such a sleaze when I first came here. I gotta tell you, Bo. Everything you have done for me to help keep me on the straight and narrow, you make me want to be a better person. I'm sure you do the same for Dave. Have you had any luck tracking him down? As a matter of fact? Yes. 